In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about the equality of complex numbers. So for two complex numbers to be equal, the real parts must be equal and the imaginary parts must be equal. If we have a complex number a plus bi and it's equal to another number c plus di, then a must be equal to c and b must be equal to d. So let's look at some examples. We need to find the value of x and y for the following. So first question, we have x plus iy plus 6 minus 9i is equal to 6 minus 10i. So what we can do is deal with the real parts and the imaginary parts separately. The real parts are x plus 6 and that's equal to 6. So we say x plus 6 equals 6. Therefore, x is going to be equal to 0. Now to deal with the imaginary part. So we have iy minus 9i minus 10i. So again, we write this as another equation. We have iy minus 9i is equal to minus 10i. So therefore, iy is going to be equal to minus 10i plus 9i. So iy is going to be equal to minus i, so therefore y is going to be equal to minus 1. So we have x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1. What we could have also done was we could have simplified our equation that we started with. So we could have had x plus iy is equal to 6 minus 6 minus 10i plus 9i. This would have simplified to be 0 minus i. So again, we would have said, therefore, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1. OK, so let's look at part 2. We have 2x minus iy plus y minus xi is equal to 1 minus 5i. So again, we're going to let the real parts be equal to the real parts and then the imaginary parts be equal to the imaginary parts. So we're going to have 2x plus y is equal to 1. And we're going to have minus y minus x is equal to minus 5. So our first equation is just the real parts and our second equation is the imaginary parts. So what we should be looking at here is that we can't solve these separately. We have 2x plus y is equal to 1, and minus y minus x is equal to minus 5. We have two equations, and we have two variables to find, so therefore we need to solve this simultaneously. We have 2x plus y is equal to 1, and minus x minus y is equal to minus 5. So our y's are going to cancel. So 2x minus y is just going to give us x. That's going to be equal to minus 4. Now we use x to find y. So we'll take our first equation. And we're going to sub in minus 4. So we have minus 8 plus y is equal to 1. Therefore, y is equal to 1 plus 8. So y is equal to 9. So we have found our two values. x is equal to minus 4 and y is equal to 9. So let's look at part 3. We have 2x minus 1 plus x plus y in brackets i is equal to y minus 6 plus 2y minus 4i. So again, we're going to let the real parts be equal to the real parts and the imaginary be equal to the imaginary. So we have 2x minus 1 is equal to y minus 6. And we have x plus y is equal to 2y minus 4. So again, we're going to solve these simultaneously. I'm going to rewrite these out. So it's 2x minus y is equal to minus 5. And we're going to have x minus y is equal to minus 4. I'm going to multiply the bottom line by minus 1 to change all of the signs. So the top line is going to stay the same. And now I'm going to have minus x plus y is equal to 4. 
I've done this because I want my y's to cancel again. So 2x minus x is just going to give me x, and minus 5 plus 4 is going to give me minus 1. Now I have my value for x, I can use that to find y. So this time I'm going to use the second equation. I have x minus y is equal to minus 4. So now that's going to be minus 1 minus y is equal to minus 4. So therefore minus y is going to be equal to minus 3. So y is equal to 3. For more information, visit www.positivemaths.ie, email us at info at and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.